Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your extended reading. We're going to dive into what your partner or the person on your mind wants and needs from you around this time. Let's start with your reading, Sagittarius. What do they want from Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, what do they want? What do they want and need from you around this time. Okay. Eight of Cups. No, Four of Cups. Strength card. Eight of Cups reversed and the Fool. Now, the first thing that's getting into my head is like, you could be very quick to uh, end and dismiss this relationship. You know, like that's a very typical fire sign behavior. It's like, okay, it's not going my way. Okay, bye, out. You know, and they are trying to teach you or show you that you need to find more um, restraint when it comes to those impulsive behavior, impulsive acts, okay? Um, they have a hard time with you closing out this connection immediately when things are not going in your way with that Four of Cups, when you feel uh, a bit of con uh, con uh, complaints, complacency. Uh, they, they want you to hang on more strongly to this connection rather than disconnecting emotionally, okay? They want you to give it a shot. They want you to, um, I mean, I don't know why, why there is the fool here because the fool could be indicating that they want you to feel more free, right? Um, they don't want you to feel restricted. So this is kind of like what they are hoping or hoping for you to understand from their point of view. That they're not trying to restrict you. We've got the five of wands reverse and a page of wands. So they want an open communication. So without triggering, without going into a big massive fight, they want to kind of like let go of the fuzzy fights and, um, you know, avoid for you also to avoid some complex situations within this connection by just talking or to be, um, to be, energetically uplifting as well because the page of wands is like exciting energy so they want you to get your excitement back so it shows here very clearly with the four of cups that you've lost a little bit of excitement here you got into a bored state of mind or you feel unsettled or there are things that are bothering you or making you feel unhappy and they want you to feel like they want you to work on these shortcomings uh, with the strength card right they want you to believe in your own inner power to change things around as well so this feels like a very supporting type of energy that comes through here for you very interesting because it's definitely different than all the other signs but yeah i feel like someone here is trying to support you regardless of what has been taking place here Like they may be aware that things have been a little bit scattered between the both of you energetically or uh, when it comes to some arguments here but i want to keep you to keep a positive mindset is what i'm getting like this person is encouraging you to have a positive mindset here we've got masculine energy we've got distance a retreat or time out and awakening Now we've got air coming through. Let's see, I wanna know how does Sagittarius feel right now? <clears throat> energy for Sagittarius, please, in this energy. Seven of Cups, you're confused. You're a little bit, ooh, okay. You're not sure if if this person is taking you for granted or taking what they want out of the situation, you have some trust issues, absolutely. Uh, you feel like you've been feeding a liar. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, this could also go on around you, right? This could have been the issue, but someone has been feeding the liar here. 
feeding a liar. I don't know why I'm getting that. You may have been feeding a lying liar with a lot of... I don't know if this is making sense, bro. I'm sorry, I'm just keep on hearing feeding a liar. You're seeing now the truth about the situation and you're ending it with with a liar. So I don't know if this is the reason of this arguing because there are multiple people here involved. You're not happy with it. And this might be a confirmation that you've been feeding information to someone that's been deceiving you behind your back, okay? And you're leaving this behind, absolutely. You got heartbroken here, deeply sad and hurt. Someone here could be also wanting uh, the both of you to um, separate or to break up. I feel like this is someone that you've been giving a lot of time and energy on. This is not your person though. This is someone else is what I'm getting. Could be a friend. Yeah, it's time for you to make healthy judgments and focus on the connection here. The connection is moving quite fast here. We've got the King of Cups with the with the Eight of Wands even. So your person is definitely showing you love, showing you that they tr truly care for you. Um, this connection is ascending to a higher level, but you do have to make healthy choices and boundaries with people that have show you who they are. If anyone shows you your, their face, believe them. That's what I'm getting through from spirit, like believe them. And there's absolutely some type of deceiver here that has been trying to receive a lot of information from you and turn it into a false information. If not, this is still going to happen. So be mindful with who you talk to or who you talk about your issues with your... Um, with your person. But I'm seeing you leaving it behind and moving forward and that's also what they'd be wanting from you to leave this false person behind and move forward. So it looks like this whole issue has been going about someone in particular. What they want from you. Wow, reliable, learning and positive-minded people and respect. I like this, I like this a lot. So they are kind of like telling you to be surrounded by people that are positive, that think positive, that speak positive. And there is absolutely someone in your surrounding that has not been speaking positively about this connection or about you or about them. And they want you to be aware, like open up your eyes. And they want you to understand that they are reliable and that they want you to be around reliable people as that could teach both of you a lot of lessons. So I feel like with this learning card, they feel like they are teaching you some lessons and that both of you are learning through this situation how to grow, all right? And, you know, they want you to respect their opinion or respect what they are saying as well, to not discard them. They, they are really asking for some mutual respect here. I don't know what I want to ask, but let's see. What do they exactly want from Sagittarius right now? Wow. They want you to, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Hang on to your love. I'm hearing Shade in my mind. Uh, yeah, they want you to kind of like hold on and commit fully to this relationship and to kind of like protect this union as well. I feel like it's all about respect. I feel like people have been um, disrespecting your boundaries or disrespecting your relationship and they really want you to speak up loud and clearly and to tell people kind of like to back off. Someone has been putting negative thoughts and negative uh, 
things into your mind, Sagittarius, or that's that's how they feel. Wow, this person definitely wants to enjoy life with you, enjoy an abundant life with you. They want to leave things behind, but they also recognize that there is a big um, lesson here for the both of you to learn. I do feel like you both are expanding out of this situation. Uh, this is definitely preparing for the right union. I saw the Two of Cups there and you're the first sign that has a Two of Cups. I want to be more than friends. So many things remind me of you. Well, I do feel like this person has made it clear that they want to be more than friends. There could be someone in your surrounding that could be wanting to be more than uh, friends. And this is someone that's missing you, okay? There is someone that is missing you and that loves you here. I left when I saw you with someone. So this, there is someone here around you, is what I'm getting, that truly loves you and misses you now that you're in a relationship. They might be blaming you that now that you're in a relationship, you've changed. Yeah, the tower. This may have came out quite unexpectedly, but there is a uh, friend or a friendship that um, that loves you and misses you and maybe wanted to be more than friends. This person feels emotionally casted out and emotionally rejected and is becoming very emotionally needy, clingy, moody, is very withdrawn. So it's not someone that you have contact with right now. But you will. Very soon this person will kind of like buckle up and take a bold action to kind of like come forward and maybe perhaps tell you that they miss you. Yeah, this will come in like a shock. It's going to come in very unexpectedly and it's something that you did not expect to see going on. It could also be that your person is the king of wands and is watching this, this water sign or someone that has heavy uh, emotions for you being kicked out okay and they're they're kind of like protecting you here is what i'm seeing your king of wands is protecting you it's kind of like kicking someone out to the curve here i don't know why no this comes up uh, quite often in sagittarius reading someone around you no one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. I will take action soon. Please believe me. I hope to have a future with you one day. So maybe your person was lacking some type of action or behavior and they will try to make it up in the near future. And it could have to do with someone that has been, like I said, very deceitful and may have been collecting some energy or information from you and stabbed you in the back here, okay? But you're, this is a relationship that you've already ended or this is a connection that you've already ended here. Please don't lose hope and ancient wisdom. I feel like when it comes to this connection, I do see a lot of things moving forward, evolving, but there is definitely some type of breakup of her griefing that is going on that could be definitely coming from your side, Sagittarius. And your person is quite aware of that. Yeah, Three of Swords. There's definitely some type of a heartbreak that is going on around you or within you. What is the outcome for Sagittarius and what their person want and need? Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups wanted to come a little bit sideways. So maybe they do want to have a last talk about the past, but at the same time, this is someone that wants to believe in you and believe in the innocent. This is someone that wants to have a reconciliation with you and that wants to go back to how times were um, in the beginning phase with you, okay? Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. Yes, this is someone that wants to have a happy, solid, relationship with you they want to celebrate this reunion with you they want people to see the both of you together someone that wants to share their love and joy with everyone around them and they want to feel victorious with you okay that's what i have for you thank you so much sagittarius and i catch you in the next one take care